Let us now talk about urinary antiseptics. As the name indicates, these are the antiseptics which they have to work in the channel. Pe kaam karna hai. So, urinary antiseptics are oral drugs that are rapidly excreted into the urine and act there to suppress the bacteriuria. So, you are getting the point. So, this is the person and you are giving these uh, urinary antiseptics to the guys and this obviously goes into the system, gets absorbed, and then kidney se isne excrete hona hai. Or jab ye uh, urinary antiseptics kidney se excrete honge, so urinary system mein inki entry ho gayi basically. Or jaise hi inki entry ho jayegi urinary system mein, ye bacteria urea ko suppress karenge. So that's how they basically work. The drug lacks systemic antibacterial effects, but may be toxic. So yahan point jo highlight kiya ja raha hai wo ye ki jo drugs hain, blood mein koi systemic antibacterial activity inki itni but they may have some toxic effects. In major antibacterial role hai to kill bacteria to suppress bacteriuria in the urine. Now, urinary antiseptics are often administered with acidifying agents because low pH is an independent inhibitor of bacterial growth in urine. So, uh, these plus uh, any acidifying agent and that is a killing environment for bacterial growth okay so we have to now consider a few urinary antiseptics the first one is nitrofurantoin this drug is active against many urinary tract pathogens but it is not active against proteus and pseudomonas so remember this not active against thing because these are also common pathogens and resistance emerge slowly single daily dose of the drug can prevent recurrent urinary tract infection and acidification of the urine enhances the activity as i told you that if you use drugs with acidifying drugs use kar lete hain, so the activity enhances the drug is yani kis ki baat ho rahi hai drug ki we are talking about nitrofurantoin the drug is active orally and is excreted in the urine or yahi purpose hai via filtration and secretion uh, ye statement i hope ki aapki understanding uh, is par hai ki if this is the nephron so if the drug is being excreted by the nephron so if i draw a nephron really uh, proximal convoluted tubule loop of henle distal tubule so it is not only being filtered but it is also being secreted into the nephron from the blood vessels okay um, uh, and toxic levels may occur in the patients with renal dysfunction. Again, anything which is secreted from the kidneys, if the kidneys are not working fine, the levels of those drugs can go up in the blood. Adverse effects of nitrofurantoin include GI upset, skin rashes, pulmonary infiltrates, phototoxicity, neuropathies, hemolysis, in patients with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, particularly this patient is G6PD deficiency wale patient. These are, I mean, these are troubled patients, basically. Now, another uh, drug is uh, nalidisic acid. This quinolone uh, drug acts against many gram-negative organisms, but again, not against proteus and pseudomonas. So, we saw that in the problem in that pseudomonas and proteus, mein, uh, there was an issue. And this is also a problem here, that in nalidisic acid, ke andar, proteus and pseudomonas, uh, both of them, there are some issues. By mechanisms, that may involve urine acidification or inhibition of DNA gyrase. So that is the mechanism of action for this quinolone derivative nalidixic acid. Again, remembering point here par ye hai, ki it is active against a lot of gram-negative organisms but not against Proteus and Pseudomonas. Resistance emerged rapidly as opposed to resistance which was being emerged slowly in case of nitrofurantine. Now the drug is active orally and is secreted in the urine partly unchanged and partly as the inactive glucuronide. Toxic effects include GI irritation, glycogenic skin rashes, phototoxicity, visual disturbances, and CNS stimulation. Nitrofurantine may antagonize super important information. Agar aap nalidixic acid ke saath nitrofurantine de rahe, so they may have antagonistic effects. Okay, so these two drugs are not given together. The next category is methanamine and uh, uh, iske different combinations are methanamine mandalate and methanamine hippurate combine urine acidification with the release of antibacterial compound formaldehyde at pH levels lower than 5.5 which is then able to kill the bacteria. These drugs are not usually active against proteus because these organisms alkalinize the urine. You getting the point? Agar acidic urine hai, so that's a good one to kill the bacteria. But these organisms uh, produce alkalinity in the urine, so they get, you know, evaded from the killing uh, effect of so many drugs. Insoluble complexes from 
between formaldehyde and sulfonamides and the drugs should not be used together okay so again pharmacology mein now you have an idea ki kaun si drugs saath use karni hai kaun si nahi use karni kaun si khane se pehle use karni hai kaun si khane ke saath use karni hai all these information are super important okay to sirf teen maine aapko aise compounds bataye hain which are under the category of urinary antiseptics yani jinko aap apni body mein le wo blood mein dissolve hoke kidney se jab wo release hoga to uh, urine mein bacterial activity ko suppress karega nitrofurantoin नेलेडिक्सिक एसिड एंड मिथेनमीन ओके सो दैट्स अ वेरी शॉर्ट क्रिस्ट बट इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो नेक्स्ट वीडियो में इस चैप्टर का अगला टॉपिक डिस्कस करेंगे विच इज अबाउट डिसफेक्ट एंड एंटाइसेप्टिक्स एंड स्टूडेंट बेसिकली दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बिकॉज यू नो कोविड में वी वॉट वर वी ऑल यूजिंग यू नो आपको पता है ना हम सारे एंटीसेप्टिक्स यूज कर रहे थे कोविड में हम डिस इनफैक्टेंट्स बहुत ज्यादा यूज कर रहे थे सो ये सारी चीजें वर सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट आपको लोगों ने डब्बों को पढ़ना शुरू कर दिया था बेसिकली कि किस स्टरलाइजर पे किस एंटीसेप्टिक पे क्या लिखा हुआ है मेडिकल के स्टूडेंट्स ने किताबें खोल के ये टॉपिक बहुत ज्यादा पढ़ना शुरू कर दिया सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बट डैट्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ओके सो वी विल टॉक Uh, about this in the upcoming video till then take care of yourself please subscribe the channel my name is professor asif qureshi and you are watching dr asif lectures